students today we are going to discuss class 10 physics topic is electric circuit so first we will discuss what is electric circuit so electric circuit is a continuous conducting path it is a continuous conducting path between two terminals between the terminals of the source of electric energy source of electric energy and other appliances which is connected through this uh, conductors so this is known as what is electric circuit that means in this case this is known as which one terminals this is known as terminals that means this is the source of electric energy that is battery and this is key and this is electric appliances suppose this is board so when it is connected to each other then we can say this is a electric circuit so these electric circuits are two types one is known as which one open circuit open circuit and another is known as closed circuit closed circuit closed circuit so what is open circuit open circuit means in this case this circuit this electric circuit at any point it may be broken then in this case maybe at this point electric circuit is broken maybe this switch is not close to each other that means in this case this current is not flowing continuously because already this circuit is broken so in this case the electric current is not complete to flow or continuous not able to flow or it is not flowing continuously so in this case this bulb is not going to blow that means bulb is not blowing clear this one so this type of circuit is known as which circuit open circuit and another is what is closed circuit closed circuit means where this terminals other appliances key all these components are all these appliances are connected to each other closely connected to or joined each other one by one so in this case there is no any broken is there so in this case this is known as what is closed circuit that means in this case current is continuously flowing from one point to uh, one terminal to another terminal so in this case this bulb will start to blow so this is known as what is closed circuit clear this one so for using this appliances or components there are we are using different symbols for different device so see here suppose here wire wire for wire we are using one line straight line this is the symbol for wire and conductors conductors for conductors we are using like this suppose this conductor is joined to each other then we are using this symbol or we are using this symbol also if this conductor is not connected not joined to each other then simply we can locate like this symbols clear this one for cell for cell the symbol is just you have to use this symbol this is for cells suppose we are using battery 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 means there are many cells are there so in this case we can use like this symbols that means in this case we can also use positive signs and negative signs that means this is positive terminals and this is negative terminals and for resistance and for resistance we are using which symbol just we are using like this and for rheostat rheostat we are using this arrow mark that means this is also known as which one variable resistance variable resistance 
with this chance. Clear this one? Then for switch, switch we are using like this. So there are different symbols for different device which is already in your NCRT book. You should look carefully and remember that one. Next we will study which one? Next we will start what is